to John Chapel St Andrew's Virtual Church. I hope you're well and I hope things are good with you. It's just great to feel things beginning to move forward. It's lovely to feel that it's spring and to have spring rain instead of winter rain. But it is lovely to see the sunshine again and it is great to have lighter days and to feel that we're moving forward. And in life too, it's good to feel that we're edging towards the end of lockdown. It's nice to see things beginning to open up a little. And I know there's still a really long way to go, but it is nice to feel that we have a sense of optimism and that things are moving towards better days ahead. And so in two weeks time, we will be back in church, which is great. Sunday the 28th of March at 11 o'clock, we'll resume church services. It's Palm Sunday. It's also Sunday that the clocks change. So remember that as well. If you are around, if you live nearby, if you're part of the church family online, do come and join us and be part of the church family where we are as well. Even if you've never been before, it would be lovely to see you. We do have a restriction of 50 people and so we can't go anywhere beyond that at the moment. But hopefully we will be leading to days when we'll be able to have a full church back again. And also still social distancing, still wearing masks, but it will be lovely to see you back in church two weeks today if you can make it. Today is Mother's Day, so a happy Mother's Day to all the mums out there. Hope that you will have a lovely day. Our theme for today is the highlights. And thank you so much for being part of our church family online. It's just been amazing to feel your support, your love, your warmth throughout this time. And look forward to staying together as a church family online and to be part of something so much bigger. So thank you for being there and thank you for all that you bring to our church family. If you're watching on Facebook, then the post below this one has all the links for our songs and videos. Please pause me and go to the links and watch our songs and our videos during the service. And if you're watching on YouTube, if you go right to the bottom, to the comments section, all the links are posted there. Our first song today is I Am A New Creation. Please pause me and watch our next video, which is A Musical Road in Hungary. How fabulous is that? We so need to get some musical roads in Scotland. You don't always know what you're going to meet on a journey. A life journey is like that too. Sometimes you just got to look out for the good things that are going to come your way on that journey and be ready for them when they do come along. It doesn't work without you. The tune is there, but you make it play. There are new adventures, new stories, and new songs just waiting for you. Enjoy them when they come your way. Let's do a prayer. God, I just love new adventures, new stories, new chapters, new songs, because all of them add something to my life. As I journey, I want to be ready for those new things that will come my way. And when I reach them, I want to make them play the best tune they can. Amen. And please pause me and listen to our next song.
which is you see. Please make yourself a part of our prayer. God, in this moment, I want to let go of all that crowds my life and distracts me from the peace at the heart of who I am. In this moment, I allow myself to be silent, just to take in the sounds and the feel of what is around me. I know I get so caught up in what's going on around me. I overthink. I feel anxious. I try to rewrite the past. In this moment, I allow myself just to be. I can influence what happens next but not by worrying about it. I cannot rewrite the past, so I have to learn to leave it in the past while healing, forgiving, being forgiven, coming to terms, doing things better next time. ready to play a new tune. When I let myself, I become peaceful beyond all measure. I become powerful and vulnerable. I become who I am meant to be. Today I open my soul to others and in a moment of quietness I remember those in my heart and in my thoughts at this time. A thought to bring healing for those who are unwell, struggling, hurting, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. A thought and a warm touch for those who have lost someone. A thought for all who feel lost for all who are afraid of where the road ahead might take them. A shared excitement for those who are starting new journeys, those making decisions which will lead them to new chapters, new stories and new songs. thought for mums today. A thought for our church family, for the love that has held us together through the challenges and isolation of this past year, for the affirmation that we find in the love that surrounds us, for the warmth and reassurance of knowing we are loved. A thought for our 3D Drum Chapel family. Amen. 
our Bible story today is in the book of John, chapter 3, and we're reading verse 1 through 8. There was a Jewish leader named Nicodemus who belonged to the party of the Pharisees. One night he went to Jesus and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you're a teacher sent by God. No one could perform the miracles you're doing unless God were with him. Jesus answered, I'm telling you the truth. No one can see the kingdom of God without being born again. How can a grown man be born again? Nicodemus asked. You can't enter your mother's womb and be born a second time. I'm telling you the truth, replied Jesus. No one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and the Spirit. A person's born physically of human parents, but is born spiritually of the Spirit. Don't be surprised because I tell you, you must all be born again. The wind blows wherever it wishes. You hear the sound it makes, but you don't know where it comes from or where it's going. It is like that with everyone who is born of the Spirit. And a poem by Norman McCaig called Small Boy. He picked up a pebble and threw another one into the sea and another and another. He couldn't stop. He wasn't trying to fill the sea. He wasn't trying to empty the beach. He was just throwing away nothing else but. Like a kitten playing, he was practising for the future, when there will be so many things he will want to throw away, if only his fingers will unclench and let them go. And please pause me and listen to our next song, I'm Born Again. I love the concept of born again. I hate that it has become identified with a particular brand of Christianity because I think that makes it way harder to get to the heart of what it really means. I don't think born again is a once and forever thing. I think what Jesus is trying to say here is that life is a journey and that there are moments, lots of moments, where you leave one chapter behind and start a new one. Today's story is about a mindset. It's about that moment that you find yourself at the start of a new adventure. Marianne Williamson said, What's true in the material world is the exact opposite of the spiritual world. In the material world, there are only so many pieces of the pie. If I have a piece of the pie, you have less. In the spiritual world, the more I am able to actualise, the more there is a field of possibility for others. Today's story is about new starts. Not one new start, but every new adventure, every new story, every new chapter, every new song. It's about a change of mindset. It's about having the courage to step out without a safety net, without having it all worked out. I know this sounds like an urban myth, 
but this genuinely happened. There was a guy in my year at uni who was just one of these totally unconsciously funny people. One weekend, he asked one of my friends to go to an auction for him and to bid for a piano that he really wanted. I'd never been to an auction, so I thought I would go with my friend just to see what it was like. Anyway, it came to the lot for the piano and the bidding started and my friend was bidding for it. But there was somebody else that just kept bidding against him until eventually he came to the limit that this guy had told him that he didn't want to go beyond. And he got to the limit and he lost the piano. So we stayed. It was quite interesting just being part of the auction. So we stayed to the end of the auction just to watch the rest of the stuff going on. And we came out afterwards and we're walking outside and there's this guy loading the piano into a van. And we said to him, stop, we didn't get it. Somebody else won it. And he said, no, it was okay. I really wanted this piano. So I got somebody else to go in and bid for it as well. <laughs> Trying to cover all the bases seldom serves you well. John Shedd said, A ship in harbour is safe, but that's not what ships are built for. Today's story is about finding your security in yourself and being ready to set off on new adventures. It's incredible what you discover in the first few years of your life. There are tears and scrapes bumps and bruises. There's happiness in the smallest of things. You learn more in the early years of your life probably than you do any other time. Of course, you can't go back to that age again. But maybe you can rediscover that curiosity, that sense of the big world that is out there, an openness to the universe and what it's going to bring your way. As their chicks begin to grow, eagles remove the feathers and soft grass from their nests so that the chicks will find it uncomfortable to stay in the nest. Eagles know when their chicks are ready to fly. Ever feel that discomfort with where you are? Maybe that's your sign that you are ready to fly. That your new adventure is ready to begin. And all you need to do is find it. I'm pretty sure for most of us, there is a fear of letting go. A fear of stepping into the unknown. Of starting a new adventure. Of doing something different. Please pause me and watch our next video, The Moving Walkway. Caution. Oh no! What's at the end of the moving walkway? Nothing. It means you're ready for the next part of your journey. In the Twilight series, in Breaking Dawn, 
we discover that Alice has the ability to show people their potential futures. We don't have that ability. All we can do is have the courage to discover the future and to give it our very best. Please pause me again and watch our next video, which is Cat versus Hawk. Maybe sometimes discretion can be a good call. But I like it when I'm brave. When I'm brave, I become more who I'm meant to be. And I discover how amazing my journey can be. Brave is when I'm open to new adventures. Susan Jeffers said, feel the fear and do it anyway. Ron Kitchen, the father of Tom Kitchen, was talking about the restaurant. He said, People's experience should be greater than their expectation. Are you ready to fly? Thomas Jefferson said, If you want something you've never had, you've got to do something you've never done. Let's do a prayer. God, in this moment, I recognise where in my life I'm feeling uncomfortable. Perhaps that's a sign that I am ready to fly. Today I want to be brave, curious, authentic. I want to discover the magic of my journey, to be open to new adventures, new chapters, new songs, to have the courage to do something I've never done before. to change my mindset, to fly. Amen. And please pause me for a moment for reflection. The bit of music that we're going to listen to during this moment is called River Flows in You by Yeruma. Thanks so much for being here today. Thanks for checking in. I hope that you will have a really good week ahead and perhaps find some new adventures, new stories and new songs. Our closing song is Shine Jesus Shine and I've also linked our closing prayer May God's blessing surround you today. Have a good week. Take care.